everybody, this is Roxy, and I just um, made a cookbook. It's from a five ring binder, um, old Better Homes and Garden cookbook. It's just like this one. This is in beautiful shape, this one. Um, this one was not so much because a lot of times this back is metal, so it kind of digs into this edge on both sides, and eventually they kind of um, pretty much come apart or tear off. So that's how this one was. So I just took some Dollar Tree athletic tape, it's like a canvas, and reinforced both um, both sides. Don't Just don't look at that. Both sides and on the inside. You can kind of see it here. So I used the TV dinner um, paper from Cosmo Cricut. It's probably 20 years old, I think. Yeah, I think, let me think. I bet it's 10 years old. Maybe not as much. Anyways, it's no longer available. This is a little cookbook. Where do I have it? I had it out. It's a vintage cookbook I have that I thought I put over here. Yeah, I'll have to um, show that. Actually, you can find it online. This is actually a reproduction of the one, the original one that I have. And I found it for just a few bucks, I think two years ago or last year. But it's just fun to cookbook. And then the back of the cover is here, just for a little color and interest. So then this is just some cardstock, 12 by 12 I have, 12 by 12. I made a little scallop border. So here's the book. This is um, coffee, paper, scissors. I asked if I could get her template for the recipe cards and she sent that. So that's awesome. I think she put them in differently. I did like two up on a eight and a half on by 11 and then ran them through again upside down so that they're double sided pages. All right, so here's, this is for my niece and I do have a little, little problems here and there, but it was my first one and she's not gonna care. So this is like a perfect um, sentiment for her. I figured if I was going to make the world a better place, I'd do it with cookies. And I know she's going to get a kick out of that. Because she and I love cookly cookies like nobody else. So these are just folded in half, 12 by 12. Actually, I think it's... What is it? Why does it give you the dimensions? as I go. So they are six by um, six by eight and a half. So it would have been twelve by eight and a half folded in half. And then on some of them I glued inside here and then all down here you know to f so that there's like a pocket for the larger four by six recipe cards. And then they won't get lost in there. Some I left um, open and just glued it down here so you can put like taller papers. And then once I was looking at this, they're, they're actually like this. And I got looking and I thought it, they kind of look like those smocks, you know, where you tie it on the side. So I ended up, of course I had had them all done before I saw that, so, which is fine, I ended up making a little, like a little template pattern for the um, tie and bow. And then this, these are pictures from that little cookbook that I just cut out. And then I collaged the backs with um, uh, pages from the cookbook the actual cookbook that was in inside here. And then these are other, like a Campbell's Soup cookbook. And then these are from Echo Park um, kitchen 
uh, paper mat or paper collection. I'm stumbling over words. And then here's some, um, another one little girl, make, she's making dressing, but for my niece it's making a cocktail. These are from, you know, those, um, what is it, General Mills from 1971. And then I made some from my index card series, which you get a sneak peek. I just used the TV Dinner Cosmo Cricut stamp set. And then these are some vintage recipe cards from my collection. These are actually when I moved out of the house when I was 20. My mom gave me a whole set of these with no cards and envelopes. So these are just some fun vintage ones. And then I'm just going to keep them um, um, uh, paper clipped together. Otherwise it looks kind of messy in the pocket. And on, which one is it? Not this one. This one I'm going to write Melba's sticky buns because um, Jess makes her grandma's sticky buns and they start with Rhodes bread. Scrubby actually thought of that. So I'll put that recipe here. They're so good. Very good. And then some more cards up here. There's like three in each pocket at the top. And then just little tags. And I didn't want to decorate these pockets with any of that, or did I here? Never mind. I didn't after this. <laughs> Just to leave it kind of more plain. Another collage. Just a vintage card I have. I think that's one of her grandma's too. But I, I copied it and cut it up. And that's from that Echo Park kit. A little washy here and there. Some more cards. And then I'm going to try to put these every other side so it's not bulking up. And here's one of the pockets where you can put a um, long piece of paper in. Another collage. Makes you hungry. And some more cards. Those are, these are old cards from Michaels. I wish Dollar Tree would get their cards back. So bummed. And here's that. She's making a little bowl of soup, and that's what Jess loves to make, is soup. And then I doctored this up. It said casseroles and one-dish meals, but we call them... Casserole, for us, is a dish that you put your hot dish in. So we make hot dish and put it in a casserole dish. We don't say casseroles very often up here. Maybe when we're in mixed company. I'm just kidding. So I just doctored that up, stamped that out with my little stampies and put it there. Okay. This was super fun to make, especially for her, because I know she's gonna love it. And then I made some of the squiggles to make it look like string or thread. Upside down. Quality control. There. And so this would be a, a long pocket too. Another collage. This is again from this Campbell's book. It was so cool. My little bloodhound Mernie found that. Really cool book. Another apron with cards. Another collage. And I kind of left them like wide open so 
she can put recipes wherever she wants. And oops. And then turkey dinner. That's from Campbell's. And then I just added some, I'll probably add more goodies. But Jess and her dad used to go get pancake breakfast on Saturdays. Can she and I both, breakfast is our favorite meal. And then we got a couple of those, some stamps, and then extra cards. Some of the, these are more um, of her grandma's. She gave me her grandma's um, recipe box because she, I don't know if she got mixed up or what, but I thought I'd put them in there and just give her the box back because I think she should have. But I threw one couple in here. So there's that. Um, I will. Oh, here's what happened. I explained it in one of my videos. I had this piece, this piece, the binding piece. I had. Um, I put down really strong double-sided tape on the book and, you know, this part of the paper, this paper. And then I put glue on this inside. And then when I was trying to put it down, somehow this touched the tape and pulled it off. So I'm just going to have to explain it. But then I ended up doing Mod Podge over all of it because I only double-sided taped it down but so this got a little bit rumply but this did not this is very nice but next time I'm just gonna Mod Podge everything down I didn't Mod Podge this because I already put these on hopefully they won't get too dirty but there's my cookbook and let me know what you think if you have any ideas or suggestions or comments leave them down below and I'll see you later. Bye.